Valley with gumming. Oh god. It's all the way up here. Alright. Isn't that in Sumeru? And also, was I... What? The hell happened? What is this? Who am I talking to? Look, oh that's, that's a tiny little teapot room. One calls home. Also, I can't hear anyone's voices. That's a new leeway region. Huh. See, so the papers used to make kites. I can feel festive fortune emanating from you. I hope there's a sudden invitation will not ruin. Happy Lantern Ray. Nobody's talking. Nobody's t it, like. I. Do you, can you actually hear them talking, Patrick? No? Why are all here? My apologies for wearing a friend. Only two of you. Surpassing capability of the local spirit veins. Why? I invite you in. This part isn't even meant to be voiced because it's not part of the story quest. Okay. <clears throat> you know us? Yes, your names are carried here by the fish that swim. Long, thus long anticipating your visit. It's a pity that a quite inconvenient outside invite you. Please, speak. Let me hear your voice so I know what idea Hoyoverse has ever had when they tried to voice act a character like this. Uh, thank you for assuming the two of you have heard of the... Or the ah! Tea Village of Shenyu Vale, the Kyoi Village. I don't know how to pronounce that. Dear God, this land has been famous for its cool, fragrant water since ancient times. People are a gentle character. Pristine pebbles in the stream are exquisite. I hear a butt coming. So someone farted in the distance. Precisely, the waters and soil of Shenyu Vale have begun to change recently. As a scent of the tea, change. Cha I can't. Pr Why? Ugh, and also my freaking hand is vibrating. An inevitably decline should this persist. One hopes one hopes the two can resolve this harmony of the soil and water on one's behalf. The water veins are spread across the mountain, but my power is no longer sufficient. Nor is my Well, there's all a bit of sudden. Yeah, we aren't exactly expert when it comes to stuff. Here's the same problem we can solve with lots of violence. Because some people like violence. Yeah, just as I heard, you're quite direct, but not for not. You're clever by nature and should perceive clearly the difficulties you encounter. You can even perform your delivery first. It is no issue. Still not quite getting it. What are we not getting? Through the one travels. You're you're a freaking adeptus at speaking in second person. Or third. Who knows? Though it's a uh, matter of uh, Can't read. Can't think. Why? Can't think. <laughs> Let's just say that I should... Should mislead you with superficial statements. My apologies. Also, Patrick, if I ever have a can't think moment, just place a Windows loading sign above my head. Well then, allow me to share some adept energy dwelling in the mortal world with you. Should it assist in traversing landscape piercing? Right, it's nice to meet you. Wait, why don't you say nice to meet you after giving a gigantic intro? Eh? I think backwards. I mean, welcome to this place. Or I mean, welcome to Shenyu Vale. Also, happy lantern right you. Uh, happy lantern right. Is this really part of the thing? It's not part of the thing, but they're referencing the thing. <laughs> what do you mean, welcome? This is clearly a kidnapping. What? I'm really sorry. I was quite looking forward to meeting you face to face. Rather than magnificent enough to forget the empire. Energy, things will become much more convenient because fish are floating in the sky now that I've noticed uh, No, please try to honor you'll just start the quest when you first encounter Chinyu Vale. Just ignore it for now. Okay All right Golden carps leap Ooh, Many glimpsed wondrous pearls of water scattered in the wilds of Chinyu Vale and have absorbed Errant adeptile energy and now float. These are adeptile energy granted by the fusion to briefly transform into a golden carp fish and enter them. Uh, once you're inside the pearl of water, you can go anywhere you please and hold the jump button to leap vertically. This so way you can cross over mountains and force the trees with ease, just like the golden carp fish in Legends of Yar. I. Why? 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 Uh, okay. All right, fine. Uh, touch the face of heaven. 
Oh, you're back. Jeez, guys, where'd you go? I don't know. The moment you were there, the next you disappeared. You scared the life out of me. I'm having a crisp moment for Family Guy. I'm so sorry. We were just... Uh, it's kind of hard to explain. I... Uh, fair I've been enough. strange. <laughs> well, the mountain road also, is pretty hazardous, it, and it's easy to get... No. Oh, now I'm back here! But I teleported here, but somehow ended up here? Okay, never mind. Screw it! Never mind! Screw it! Never mind! Don't question! The game doesn't make sense. Move on. Uh, where's the thing? Here's the thing. God, it came out of the fridge. The, the freaking dairy aisle. Where are those health open to box? The statue repelled itself. So, and there's another freaking statue over here. There's gonna take a while to get around to. Yeah. Ah! Defeat Wait, the treasure hoarder. I'll handle this. I got you. Stop it, man. You're open. Yeah. You're open. Yeah. Hey, you're right. a gift. What's it done? Hip. Subject. Yes, you did. I Seems say that like after really that. can't go anywhere without running into treasure hoarders, can we? No, we can't. Yeah, it's not uncommon for deliveries to get intercepted. That's why this job needs guards like us. It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. Yes, why not? I was impressed by your moves back Also, you, I don't you really seem like a real pro at your job. You seem a real pro at your job. He's just... He, I think uh, Patrick was talking about this before, where Gomming is... he Yeah, he's a lion dancer. He's hes a freaking lion dancer. He's not a guard. Oh, <laughs> that's not a skill I learned on the job. It's just a hobby. It's not something I do seriously. It's something I, I do because I feel like it. There, I, it's divorced from seriousness. Have you ever heard of wushou dancing? No. Really? Wushou dancing is famous in Chenyu Vale. Well, I've never heard of Chen Yu Vale, at least until now. So any time before that, it's like anyone who says yes is, is an automatic liar. On day one, as soon as Chen Yu Vale comes right out. Performers might be invited to promote the opening of a business or to spread good fortune during a holiday season. I want to do good things. I'm a good thing doer. But I must admit, it has nothing on the popularity of the Li Yue Opera. Yes, because you know you can't go, you can not, but it's you're the dragon. <laughs> you can't face up to Miss Yun. I'm also well aware that people in Li Yue Harbor aren't exactly jumping at the chance to watch Wushu dancing. So it's not something I do full time. My job is not popular, so therefore I do it part time. Huh? You have two jobs? How do you have the energy to do all that? There's a way. I would know. I've done two jobs before. <laughs> it's not that tiring. You just have to take a rest. It's not all bad. You just have to be half asleep while you work. And somehow pretend you're awake while doing it. Ah, Paimon gets it, so you must sleep a lot then. Yes. Not really. Just yesterday I stayed up all night playing cards. You're an insomniac. Oh. Dragon Dance. Uh... Gyarados. Oh god, you got the Pokemon logic going on as well. Let's go. The docks are just up ahead. Yes, they are. 
Walk away. Go turn around. Uh, I lost faith with Ooh. sword and shield. <laughs> oh, Paimon's shoulders are so stiff. And her stomach so empty. Uh-huh, you're expecting everybody else to feed you. Also, that bird just disappeared in the background. Sorry, sorry. I saw it. Did I push the pace a bit too much? I mean, you were the ones who said you were travel experts. Uh, is that bird gonna disappear? Really? <gasps> it almost looks like it did. Floating up and down so much. Where's Paimon now? Uh. Paimon was finally what? satisfied, and now her poor stomach's empty again. I'm just expecting Aww. a bird. Oh, Would that like bird! I was expecting that one bird to disappear for a second. Store. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting distracted. Yes, so much room. Bird. Uh, you might oh, want to no. pace yourself there. Or you'll be too full to eat a proper meal later. Did I see something behind the tree? I saw something behind. Paimon never gets too full. I'm getting distracted with everything like, in the background. Oh, just like you, apparently never get tired, no matter how far you walk or how many jobs you work. Ah, I Don't see. And here you go, Paimon. And for you, traveler, enjoy. Here you go. Enjoy and random here's some food for you I too, brought with Mosu. me. Don't think I forgot about you, my friend. Uncle. I'll Bosu. just set it to the side here for you. <clears throat> okay. I mentioned like a uh, people person can along with anyone. He treats every person like he's a close friend. Is that ever a good idea? Sure, oh, why not? That hit the spot. Paimon thought she was going to starve to death for a minute there. Uh, <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> that close of a call, huh? Sure, why not? Ah, <sighs> I've been eating winter melon cake ever since I was a kid. What? You can buy them from all sorts of places. Whether it's a small vendor on the side of the road, I'll or a big restaurant in the city. We get it. But no, each place produces cakes with a slightly pressure. different oh, flavor. Wait, I thought if you uh, like these ones, Linux I can give you the address uh, of the shop I bought them from. Uh, I'll just have to check when we get back. I'll just have to do things when I get back. <laughs> oh, oh, all my jabbering must be making it difficult for you to enjoy the scenery in peace, huh? Don't be afraid to tell me to zip it for a little while, okay? Really, I won't be afraid. Uh, wow, I have your permission okay. to tell I'm you to shut up? I'm listening to your chitter chatter. No. 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 Aww. A fed Paimon is a happy Paimon, huh? <laughs> yeah. Hey! Paimon can be in a good mood anytime she wants! Right, even when you're hungry? You slowly lose yourself in the beauty of the surrounding scenery. You wouldn't let me read that for long enough, so... WHY?! I play Pokemon in my friends with him, though. Don't forget your things, you play, and uh, watch your step as you get off the raft, or you're in for a swim. Uh, be sure to step off the raft, cause, uh, otherwise you'll, uh, be humiliated. Thanks for the ride, Uncle Bosu. You take care of yourself now. I'll see you some other time. Okay. Okay, follow me. This way is fastest. We'll have to take the elevator up to the secure transport agency. Elevator? <laughs> this area, Chenyu Vale, is just a shortcut to Fontaine. That's basically what it is. Oh, there! Ah! All right, just wait here for it to come down. Hey, I slow down. I'm begging you. I don't see you. What is it? No one's gonna try any funny business when the street is this packed, right? Mm, what if they do? Oh, well. How should I put it? Just put it! Come on, spit it out! Do you see that group of people over there? Uh-huh. Those are my relatives. Those are my family. I hate my family. <laughs> or maybe that should be. Uh, and those are my relatives. They always look down on me. Even if I pull myself up by the bootstraps and I ascended beyond their understanding, they still look down on me. Wow, you sure have a big family. <laughs> Is it, or is it like a biological family, or is it like a social family? In China, I can only assume it's a social family. And once they start buying things, they won't stop perusing till it gets dark. This is bad. Once they stop their shopping spree, they go flat broke. <laughs> They're your family, not your arch enemies. What's there to be afraid of? Unless... Oh, did you do something horrible to them? No, I just don't. You just don't want to watch them walk into a casino and then lose their shirts on a really bad bet. That's kind of what watching your family shop, uh, go on a shopping spree is like. No, it's not that. I'm just, 
I'm not that good at dealing with my family. I know what you mean. It would be best if you could steer clear of them. It would be best if I STAY THE HELL AWAY FROM THEM! I'll explain more when we have the chance, but right now, we've got a job to do. Then we'll just sneak right past them, or YOU sneak past them! I don't need to sneak past them, they don't know my face, they don't know me, they don't... They don't know if you're with me, so the sneaking part is on you. Wow, you can actually relate to him. <laughs> the left side looks pretty bad. Slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady is like, uh oh. Walk away, follow me, try to avoid the red pits. Can I sneak? Sneaky peeky, sneaky peeky. Otherwise, I'm socially awkward. I'm socially awkward! Stay the hell away from me! Also, why do I have to sneak? He... Let's wait here for a second. Or just climb the wall and run around. Why not? Socially awkward! I can't stop being socially awkward! I hate everyone and everyone! I hate everything and everyone. Oh, wait, what? Where the hell did he go? Wow, you guys are good! I'm impressed. It's not good. That's called being socially awkward. There's nothing good about that. That was nothing! It was a piece of cake! You really liked it, huh? As long as you don't like the drowning Paimon! What? Drown Paimon? Hey, Uncle Drigway. These are my friends, the Traveler and Paimon. They came to deliver some goods with me. I avoid my parents. My parents don't ever understand me. <laughs> so, I guess I'll go ahead and take these over to Uncle Young's on then? Yes. Yes. Thanks for your hard work. Thanks for your... Yeah, yeah. I should thank you both for your trouble as well. Please take a seat and rest for a bit. I'll prepare some tea. Sit down and talk. No need. We'll be off soon anyway. Hey, we're already here, aren't we? No harm in taking a load off for a bit. Plus, I know the Secure Transport Agency has some great Songwa tea stash around here somewhere. I promise you, one sip and you'll be hooked. Are you sure that old guy in the background is not also part of your family? And he's just staring from afar? Anyway, you just sit down and relax, Uncle Jirgway. <laughs> Who would I be if I just sat here and let you go through all this trouble? I have to be up and about to drop these goods off anyway. What's a little extra time on my feet? Uh, extra time on your feet? Oh, you aren't too picky, right, Traveler? I know Paimon prefers things on the sweeter side, so I won't. Aww. Dim sum. You notice what Paimon likes? Uh, how long have you two known Gong? Oh, not long at all. Getting... We just kind of tagged along on his trip to Yilong Wharf. We don't know him other than the fact that his name. He's just a super welcoming guy. We became friends. You know, just like that. <laughs> That's just how he is. Remember He's the attentive sort. Really knows how to look after his own. He knows how to stand on his own two feet, like me. So, yes. A while ago, one of our guards had to take off work. Said his joints were hurting due to the rain. Gaming personally went all the way to Boo Boo Pharmacy to get some medicine for him from Dr. Baiji. That young man has such a good head on his shoulders. How can anyone not love him? Mm, I really feel like I might actually get the answer to that question. I mean, there is his dad, but well, ask anyone else. Mm. Uncle Yongzan says he doesn't have the personnel to spare for this delivery right now. So what do you think, Uncle Jirigui? Should I go ahead and deliver it instead? Should I get your permission to do the thing that I might as well do, and all I have to do is just ask for you to wait for me? Do I not have my own agency? Ah, feels like we've troubled you enough already. It's kite-making materials, though. It could be for a kid. Uh, I really wonder why you want in on this coming. I'm sure the sender wants it delivered before Lantern Ray. Oh, uh, by the way, here, have some tea. Also, here, I changed the conversation. The 
refreshing your aroma. There's some blue tea in big red chocolate. All drinks. right, then. Deliver it if you want to. Just do it. Why bother asking for my permission? Ooh, are you free in two days? How about we grab some dim sum from Xinyue Kiosk? What? My treat, and don't even think about trying to pay. Why? First of all, why dim sum? Second of all, why dim sum? Like, you mentioned that at least two or three times. Third of all, why do you want to pay for it? Whoa, that's way too generous of you. I am automatically suspicious of gaming just because of that. But I'm like, okay. I want to see where this is going. Uh, don't mention it. Just think of this as a thank you for all your help. Besides, the thing between me and my family, it's a long story. Mm, it might take some time to tell. Bullied. Uh, okay. Sounds good! Paima never says no to free food. What if uh, the free food uh, had strings attached and you somehow ended up in slavery? Put another application in it. Character has a birthday on the day the lore lore bad luck. And this year is actually the first year ever since the game's release date where you can even celebrate his birthday. Oh god. Alright, then I'm off. See you in two days. Oh, and Paimon? Make sure not to eat too much before then. Don't say I didn't warn you. Mm hmm. Walk is away and run Paimon? away. <laughs> She's just gonna have to show him how much she can really eat. Uh -huh. Anyway, is Gomin's family situation really that complicated? No, it's not. He has such a happy-go-lucky personality. Plus, he's an enthusiastic and diligent worker. It's hard to imagine a guy like that being I told you you lost him much. some. Why? Why? Hmm. Since he already plans to tell you himself, you don't... You seem to be around the same sense. age, so you might have a lot in common. Perhaps you could help him talk things through. Consider it a favor to me. I'll try. If you have the time, maybe you can make a little... F I can say, we provide aid in Spain! Well, I can certainly arrange that. Is there anything else you wanted to say? No. Wait. Seriously? Walk away. I'm it's okay. Joking. I... Wait, wait. wait. If you're okay, going to get us, she'd much rather have Why, Hunter Bell and Katie. He likes the Chinese food. And uh, would you like some more tea? I think there's some left. Uh, I don't know. No thanks. We came on this one. No. We should see the kinds of kinds of Maybe they'll have ones you can't soft. find in Liyue Harbor. Really? Uh, okay. Maybe they'll have ones you can't find in Liyue Harbor. We should see the kind of kind of thing. All right then. Please do let me know if you'd like more tea. You're welcome to stay as long as you like. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing here? What are you doing here? What? The way you speak. One might have presumed you were displeased to be in one's presence. Gre greetings, Cloud Retainer. Cloud Retainer, Zhang Yun. Pasturing Herald. Cloud Retainer of the Mighty and Illuminated Death Dive. The Dove to the Mountain. Ao Kang. Don't know how to pronounce it! Now walks amongst the mortals under the name Zhang Yun. I don't know how to pronounce that name. Zhang Yun. His passion about the culinary delicacies and delights in developing the mechanism. Long story short, she likes food. Uh, and engineering mechanisms, technology, she has extensive connections, the last one unlikely normal folk interacting with her. Ever link this jaw killer and an enthusiastic woman with a legendary adeptus who would marshal the winds of Take note, Paimon. You could learn a thing or two about how to respect your elders. You, just like Moon Carver and Mountain. Oh, I the name. You basically took on a humanoid form. Probably you'll be missing some context for Clark Chainer since her story quest does technically take place before this event. <laughs> Ugh, starting on the elder stuff already, huh? Done a single story quest yet. Haven't done a single thing. Shouldn't you be back in your cave tinkering away at some kite related thing and bob or something? What brings you out here? If I was to answer that question, uh, what Paimon was asking, it would basically be from the viewpoint of the developers. Basically, they want to jump the gun and have story quests or some type of Archon quest or side quests before having, like, the main thing. So it's a thing for gaming studios to rush players to the end and see who can do this. Related to Kalimabob. 
because it's part of the story. And what's with that huge box next to you? Ah! Paimon gets it. You're here to do some shopping, aren't you? That's a box? I always thought it'd be more square, but that looks more like an oversized bag. Or maybe a wooden bag. And what of it? And what of it? The Qixing's decision to integrate Fontanian technology into said kite flying competition is of no consequence to oneself. I went shopping. I combined leeway with Fontaine. That doesn't hurt at all. Did you expect one to willfully compete against the whimsical trends of worldly sentiment? Or perhaps even fall to petty sulking over such? So basically, Cloud Retainer, aka Jiangyun, is is competing in the uh, kite... I can't think. Ugh. The kite flying contest, and is somehow taking pride into it. Um, it's not that we think those things exactly. That's just what Mountain Shaper and Mooncarver told us, or Tia something and Ho... Oh, Paimon can't be bothered to remember what their aliases were called. You know what? That's okay. I couldn't remember their names at all. My memory is shit! Anyway, they went to Liyue Harbor to look for you. They even asked us to pass along the records if we ran into you. Actually, my intention is shit. Memory is a whole other thing. <laughs> you can relate to that. Oh, huh. <laughs> you? It's like, oh god. Huh. Is she about to, did she forget about them? Huh. It appears time has quite flown since one's arrival in Liyue Harbor. How could one have forgotten about those two old fossils? Are you- what? The two old fossils. You're- you're calling them fossils. You lived for so long, adapted a sort- uh, adeptus- adapting a sort of humanity, and you almost forgot about them, you're like, How the hell did I forget about them for so long? <sighs> one shall have to bring them back some divine herbs to atone for this slight- Nay, given that one has ventured all this way to Yilong Wharf, tea would be more advisable. All of them are old. They are super old. They are older than everyone. Each matters not. Uh, you're like, I have to atone for this. Also tea. A great thought has illuminated one's mind once again. <clears throat> one is reminded that certain purchases have yet to be made. In other words, Fetch quest! Perhaps you two could wait here whilst one performs this task. It'll be but a moment. Okay. If you could wait here for a second. Wait here? You really just gonna ditch us here to watch your stuff? Oh, that woman really just does whatever she wants. Oh, yeah, and also I feel like, um... I feel like, uh, Jin... Yeah, I forgot her name! I feel like Cloud Retainer... Why am I able to remember that name? I feel like Cloud Retainer has taken on a Bayonetta persona for whatever reason. Hey, not you too, Traveler! Oh, all this time on ditching is super not appreciated! That is the first time you've ever been ditched. Uh, I don't know any example. Like, when is the last time both the main character and Paimon has ever been separated? Uh, just come back soon, okay? Paimon! Welcome. Please have a look around. We only sell teas of the finest quality, sourced directly from Chaoying Village. Might I recommend the Songlo variety? It's one of our specialties. The way he talks, his animation is like a yelling animation, but his talking dialogue sounds like he's talking normally. Now, that sounds promising. One will bring some back. Two boxes will do. I will buy things. Wonderful. By the way, we're actually running a special lantern right promotion. Buy three boxes, get 10% off, four. Hmm. You're gonna add, oh god. 10% off four boxes. That's not a fair. It's merchants. There's no fair, fair bargain. bargain. He, he basically one said, if you buy more, you get the first, two. the fourth one less. Then four shall suffice. So he's gonna hmm. say. I see. Are you intending to give these as gifts? If so, oh my god! Interest you buy in these 10. exquisite gift sets. Buy 10, get half off. Wow! He's trying to offload that entire stock. And look at the magnificent design! And the red ribbon gives quite the festive flair, don't you think? Such a gift would be sure to impress any lucky friend or family member. I'm just thinking. Like, I know my main character's embarrassed, but like... 
I'm just thinking about uh, what Gaming was saying earlier about how his relatives just buy everything and cash out buying everything. Is Cloud Retainer Gaming's relative? Nope. I I'm I'm just kind of seeing a connection here. Like she's fulfilling that that sort of function, and he's saying that's what the function is. That's kind of type of person to me. She's a type of person who merchants can easily exploit. Hmm. Ten boxes. Seems rather excessive. Hmm. Ten! A nice round number, don't you think? Of course you do. I'll even shave a little extra- That is agreeable. What- Of course, of course. Right away! God, why? Is that I merchant see also- I you have quite the eye for fine items, mademoiselle. Perhaps some of my wear- Oh my god! Uh, I'm a toy merchant from money, Fontaine. But... You'll get nothing but the finest and most interesting. Oh god. Hmm. What is this? Is that a mystery box? Perhaps you could enlighten me then. Well, uh, that is, of course, best understood by playing with them yourself. Mm -hmm. If you could wait just a moment, I can bring one out and give you. <laughs> what? Hmm. There is. Uh, Mademoiselle. Give me your newest and finest model. And be. Ah, oh, of course. Here you go. The instruction manual is. I can do without. Oh, many watchful eyes surround this place. If one were to be spotted purchasing a mechanical toy such as this, a child's plaything, no less, would uh -huh. only invite scandal. I must be seen as serious. I can't be seen. As buying toys, people will judge me! There is no harm in bringing it back to study in secret. You know what? I buy a bunch of toys. I buy so much technology. There we go. I got a lot of brand new toys. Should have backed up before his young one noticed. There's... Uh, okay, what case for that? Um... Oh, Yin Yin! I plan on getting a, an MSI. <sighs> Naturally, one may not delight in social interactions, but that does not mean one lacks said faculties. <clears throat> I might not enjoy talking to people, but I'll enjoy hanging around them. Swaying and buying things, a box. Fit the burst and already. And you too? Are you not here to purchase things? Why are you expecting me to purchase uh, things so you can relate to me more? We just haven't had time yet. It doesn't look you are also planning to participate in the kite flying competition, then? Wait, did we actually agree to that? <clears throat> also, one means to say you, along with all the other youths. She plans to get in the kite flying competition. One has been entreated to share one's kite making expertise, and indeed, there was little one could do about such persistent supplication. One moment energetic and earnest, and ejected the next. Mm, wait, what? Like one minute I'm motivated, the next I'm not. One had no choice but to acquiesce to these requests, and thus mm. one will be organizing a kite-making oh, workshop right, to provide you know, you personal you instruction in this art form. Mm. Oh, who will be participating then? She will. Shu Yu, Shen He, Gan Yu, and Yao Yao. Shu Yu, Shen He, Gan Yu, and Yao Yao. I know Shen He and Gan Yu, but I don't know the. Other. Maybe I forgot them. Wow, that's quite a few people. Mm. Also, this is all pretty well, Xin Yun, but it's not like you have to make your own kite to participate in the competition. You can't just buy one ready-made and call it a day. Mm. There's still like there's like the idea about the the process doesn't matter. The results are what count. Huh. You speak of those equipped with the mechanical lifting device, do you not? The mechanism that one has developed was the fruit of millennia, of meticulous study. Let us not speak of the source of the mechanism's power, but rather its structure. Uh, it is aw. composed of materials as light as bamboo and as uh, strong as iron. This composition grants it the lightness of weight to ascend into the sky and the durability to follow the wind for many a mile. It is built with a series of intersecting rods that... Okay. <sighs> Never mind. 
It is unlikely the two of you will understand, even should one expend the effort to it. It okay. sure seems like you want to talk about it, though. So, will you be attending the workshop or not? Yes. Huh? Wait, you've been trying to... All right, then. No need to prepare the materials in any case. One has it all sorted. Arrive at Mount Outsong in two days. I shall be expecting you around midday. Are you leaving? Don't you want a guard to help you with that big Just box like of yours? <laughs> Surely you jest. One goes as one pleases. Levitating magical bag. It can float? What kind of invention is that? Uh. Wait. I think I'm Fontaine. She did say she was bringing things from Fontaine. One calls it the floating toting device. Floating. Tote. Like a gym tote bag, but it's a bag that carries itself. The what? Why? Huh. She seems pretty proud of that one. What do you expect? She's an adept eye. She's almost proud of anything. Look at her walk down the street. She seems so confident, but everyone around her is looking at her all funny. Why one wonders? Uh, never mind. Why were you about to relate to her? And you're like, oh my god, is that how everybody else sees me? But anyway, that <laughs> box of hers seems to be full of those mechanical lifty thingamabobs. Yes. Uh, not that Paimon was peeking or anything, she just, uh, got a bit unsteady for a second and accidentally brushed the embroidery on top. What? And wouldn't you know it, all the stuff inside almost came bursting out. Paimon even went out of her way to keep it all together. Ah, uh, what will I do about you, Paimon? All Paimon say is that Xian Yun sure does try hard to save face. Yes. And you're not? What did she call it again? A crude <laughs> piece of mortal machinery? It is something that's what you do. Totally. We should probably act can like can that. After all, all, that is the propriety with which... Orioles bask in spring and heavens present auspice. I, God, you won't let me finish it. In the meantime, I gotta get going. Thank you very much, uh, Linux and Patrick, for joining. I'll see you all another time.